Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of April, so stick around. So today I wanted to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of April. I was able to see quite a few movies, at least one movie a day. Um, I saw a lot of these in the theater. So if you'd like to follow along, I'm going to be using my Letterboxd account. And I will tell you what all I watched. So the first day of the month of April, I watched Contagion. I had, re um, had purchased this 4K still book. It had been a while since I had seen the film. Um, great film, uh, great 4K presentation for the film. I really enjoyed it. I gave it three stars and a heart. Highly recommend you check it out. The next film that I saw was in the theater. I went and saw Arthur the King with Mark Wahlberg. Um, I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. I enjoyed the movie overall. Um, the reason why I gave it such a midway score is because it just wasn't... I enjoyed the story, but it just wasn't action-packed. It was kind of slow-paced, um, but still, um, I look forward to getting that one on physical media. Okay, the next film I saw was also in the theater. I saw Immaculate. I gave it two stars and a heart. Um, I liked it overall for the concept and the, um, the eeriness of it, but as far as the story goes, um, it was a little bit lacking. And so that's the reason why I rated it so low. But I definitely want to give it a rewatch because um, I think I think it was a pretty good film. Okay, the next one that I watched was The Beguiled. Someone had recommended that I check this one out. I do, I do, um, I did enjoy this one. I thought it was really good. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. So that's midway from one to five. Um, overall, I thought it was a good story. I enjoyed the performances. I enjoyed the atmosphere. I um, highly recommend you check it out. This is definitely one that I want to revisit later on. Okay, the next film that I watched is In the Cut. And I gave this one two stars and no heart. And to be honest with you, I'm just looking at the cover. I don't even remember anything about this. It's got Jennifer Jason Lee, Mark Ruffalo, and Meg Ryan in it. Oh yeah, I do remember a little bit about it. This one was just okay. Like I said, I gave it two stars, no heart. It was very slow paced and had a lot of adult themes in it that I didn't really care for. And so that was that. Okay, the next film that I watched was The Royal Hotel. This right here was a pretty good film. I gave it two stars, no heart. I didn't really enjoy it all that much. But overall, I think the performances were good. The story was okay, but it's not one that I think I'll revisit. But I'm happy that I was able to at least watch it once. Okay, the next film that I watched was Pasolini from Kino Lorber. I gave this one no stars, no heart. I did not care for this movie at all. Um, I'm not even really familiar with who Pasolini is. I didn't realize that this was a biopic type film and I didn't enjoy anything about it. Very forgettable movie for me. I can see where some people might actually enjoy this one, but I did not enjoy it at all. The next one that I watched was Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. I saw that one in the theater. I gave that one two stars and a heart. It was not my favorite Godzilla Kong movie. Um, kind of felt... I know it was a big budget. You can tell it's a big budget, but it, the story-wise just wasn't very good for me. I didn't enjoy it that much. There were some aspects of it that I enjoyed. I'm glad that I saw that one in IMAX 3D. That was a good experience. But overall, the story I wish could have been better. Okay, the next one that I watched was Noah. I had never seen this one before. I wanted to check it out. I had really high hopes for this film. I gave it one half star, no heart. I did not like the story whatsoever. The, the special effects of it seemed kind of weird. And the story actually was weird to me. I know the story of Noah and the Ark. And this one had some really weird elements to it that didn't make sense. 
and that I would totally disagree with. Okay, the next film I watched was Monkey Man. I saw that one in the theater. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. I enjoyed it for what it was. The theater that I saw this one in had very low audio, so I couldn't really hear. I mean, seriously, it was so low that it was very hard to hear. I almost got up to say something about it, but nobody else in the theater was saying anything. So I thought maybe it was just my hearing. But if it wasn't for the um, subtitles, I would have really been lost. But I pretty much needed subtitles for everything. And really the only, sub the only subtitles that there were were for the foreign language. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Monkey Man again when it comes on physical media. Because I think it would have been a great film if I could have just heard what the story was. Okay, the next film that I saw was also in the theater. I saw Civil War. I gave it three stars and a heart. I enjoyed it overall. Um, There's there parts of it that I really loved. And then there were parts of it that were just really slow. Um, but that's definitely one that I will definitely, 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 definitely be revisiting. I'm going to use the word definitely too much. But that's one I will be revisiting again. Okay, the next film that I watched was The First Omen. I gave it four stars and a heart. The First Omen to me was much better than Immaculate. But when I think of The First Omen, I also think of parts of Immaculate. So it was kind of hard for me right now at this time to differentiate what was going on in one story from the next. But I do remember that I enjoyed The First Omen after it was over with. Um, like I said, I gave it four stars and a heart, so that's a really high recommendation. Um, but yeah, just to differ differentiate between Immaculate and the First Omen right now, I can't, I couldn't do it. Okay, the next film that I saw was Late Night with the Devil. Um, at the time of the viewing, I gave it one star, no heart. I didn't really care much for it, but I know a lot of people loved it. And so that's one that I think I'm going to have to just revisit. I do need to revisit this film. I was kind of out of it when I was watching this. I was tired. It was late night. I was um, I was rushing to get some other things done that evening. And so I didn't get to really enjoy the movie. So I'm definitely going to revisit this one because I know a lot of people loved it. Okay, the next film that I watched was The Shootist. Um, this right here has John Wayne, Lauren Bacall, and Ron Howard in it. And I really love this one. I wasn't even familiar with this film whatsoever. But this was John Wayne's final performance. And whenever I purchased this and saw the cover, I didn't even know that that was John Wayne on the cover. Um, but this was his final film. And he was battling cancer or, ha or had battled cancer. But I really enjoyed the story and highly recommend it. I gave it four stars and a heart. Okay, the next one that I watched was 12 Monkeys. I gave this one two stars and a heart. This was my first time seeing this film. And it was kind of hard to follow at points. I couldn't figure out what was present and what was future within this timeline that we're going, they were going time traveling back and forth. So it was hard for me to follow. So I definitely want to revisit 12 Monkeys. Okay, the next one that I watched is Women in Love. Someone had recommended that I check this out. I had purchased it on Criterion. I gave it zero stars and no heart. I did not like this movie at all. It was very dull and boring for me and I would not recommend anybody check it out. The next film that I watched was Before Nightfall. I bought this one when it was released um, about a month or so ago. Maybe, maybe a little bit longer than that. But I bought it solely on the um, I bought it solely on the cover um, because I see that this actor was in it. I can't think of his name all of a sudden, but um, I had no idea that it was going to be a biopic tale, and I didn't care for the story. I didn't care for this person in general, and I found it kind of boring. I gave it one star, no heart. Okay, the next one I watched was Life Changer. I gave it two stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this one. This was about a shapeshifter, and the way that they told the story was excellent. I really enjoyed it. It kept me glued to the screen. I didn't want to, um, you know, I wasn't bored during the movie. Now, I only gave it two out of five stars because it wasn't top 
tier to me but still a very enjoyable story and one that I would definitely recommend and this is one that I would definitely check out again okay next up I watched Hell Caesar I gave it one star no heart I didn't really care for this movie this is a Coen Brothers film it is probably one of my least favorite of their films I didn't really care for the story that much but it's one that I may revisit again in the future but overall I would not recommend that one Okay, next up, I finally watched Thinner. I had never seen this one before. I gave this one two stars, no heart. I was really, I really had high hopes for this one. Overall, I think the um, special effects were good, and I enjoyed that part of it. Some of it looked kind of cheesy. The story was kind of iffy for me, easy to follow, but I didn't really care for the main character. You know, if he was getting thinner and thinner and thinner, it didn't matter to me. I think if I cared more about the character, I might have enjoyed it a little bit more. Okay, next up, I saw Abigail in the theater. I gave it two and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed it. It had a lot of great aspects to it. Something a little bit different. And I enjoyed the gore that was in the film. That was enjoyable. And I definitely look forward to seeing that one again. Okay, next up, I watched Blind Spotting for the first time. I had never seen this one before. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed the story overall. There were parts of it that I didn't care much for, but as far as the performances, I thought they were great and um, would highly recommend everybody check that one out. Okay, next up, I watched Alice Sweet Alice. This was another first time watch. Um, I liked it more than I thought it was going to because I know a lot of people either loved it or hated it. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. It's one that I would definitely want to check out again and would recommend that you check it out. So I really enjoyed that one. Okay, next up, I finally watched Old Boy for the first time. I had never seen it before. I um, had it in the collection for many years. I gave this one three and a half stars and a heart and I loved, I loved the story. Very easy to follow. Um, great, uh, great storyline. Great pacing. It kept me glued to the TV again. And I would highly recommend everybody check this one out. So the next film that I watched was The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. I gave it three stars and a heart. I really enjoyed the film as far as the action. I thought it was a good story. It's one that was entertaining. I enjoyed the characters. The actors did a great job. There's a lot of humor in it. And... Um, Definitely looking forward to getting that one on physical media. Okay, next up I watched Old Boy from 2013. I gave this one I gave this one one star, no heart. It was a, a bit of a letdown, and I had higher expectations for this one, um, comparing it to the original that I had just seen two days earlier. But overall, I think this right here could have been a good film, and from what I understand, there was a lot of edits done. From the studios from the studio that put this out and i think if they from what i understand if they would have left everything alone then this right here might have been a really great film but this is one that i might check out again later on but comparing it to the original it did not hold up okay next up i saw another movie in the theater and i saw unsung hero gave it two and a half stars and a heart i enjoyed it overall it is kind of like a faith-based film and it is based off of a um, Christian artist and her family, which I didn't really know much about. Um, but I was very aware of the artists that were um, prevalent in the film, you know, referred to. So I did enjoy the story overall and I thought it had a really good story and definitely look forward to checking that one out again. Okay, the next one that I saw in the theater was Challengers. I gave it three stars and a heart. I enjoyed it overall. I thought it was a pretty interesting story. My only complaint, or one of my only complaints, would be that the um, soundtrack, the score of the film, really was loud in parts to where it kind of overshadowed the dialogue. Um, but overall, I think I enjoyed the film for what it was. It kept me entertained. And um, yeah, I would definitely look forward to checking that one out again. Okay, the next one that I watched was Threshold. I gave this one two stars, no heart. 
overall, I think it was an okay film. It's not one that I think I will revisit, but it did have an interesting story. Um, and I would recommend it at least check it out once. Okay, the next film that I watched was Passengers. I had never seen this one before. I gave this one two and a half stars and a heart. Overall, I enjoyed the story and the performances. I guess for this film, the ending felt kind of rushed, but overall, I think it looked really good. Um, it looked great in 4K, and there's a 3D version of this that I have, haven't watched in 3D yet. I did watch just the 4K version, but I did enjoy the story, and it was entertaining, so that's one that I will definitely revisit again. Okay, next up, I re-watched Marabone, and this is one of my favorite films. This one gets four and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this story. I enjoyed the characters, and I think I enjoyed the performers. They did a great job. I think that it is a eerie film, one that is entertaining, and one that I would highly recommend everybody check out if you've never seen it. Mirror Bone is, is a wonderful film. Okay, the last, okay, the next film that I watched was Boy Kills World. I saw that one in the theater. I gave it three, three stars and a heart. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was pretty much non-stop action. It had a lot of comedy in it. It had some weird, weird parts to it. Um, but overall, I've really enjoyed the film. I'm looking forward to seeing that one again when it comes out on physical media. Okay, the last film that I watched in the month of April was Pale Rider. This right here is a second time watch for me. I gave it four stars and a heart. I really enjoyed the story. Clint Eastwood directed and starred in this one. But it had a really good storyline, characters, and it's one that I would highly recommend everybody check out. So those are all of the films that I watched during the month of April. Hopefully you were able to see a lot of films. I would really like it if you would leave a comment below. Let me know what you watched during the month of April. And also give me some recommendations of things that you think I should check out during the month of May. But thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And we will see you next time.